going to try and share some information with you, with everybody. Um, gas gauge was not functioning correctly. Uh, just like we all do, we scoured YouTube, trying to find out what's going on. Took a little bit, found out. Um, we just watched a few and nothing really helped me. So I started hitting the interweb and found out that this guy went all the way here, all the way full, is supposed to read 30 ohms, just like that. I also recommend, if you don't have it, get you some alligator clips so you don't have to twist it like me. This is all just a quick little throw together. It's supposed to be getting 30, okay? That's when it's full. Ooh, 33 actually, but I'm getting 30 and 31. But when you go to the empty part of the rod, I was only getting 49, and you're supposed to get 243 ohms. You can see it's in ohms. Was not getting that. So everyone said, oh, you need to go buy your new sending unit. You know, that's 50 to $100, I think. Maybe, I'm not sure. I think even for the cheap ones, they're like 50 bucks. Um, so I said, well, it's broken. Anyway, so let's look at it. Took my pliers and gently pulled this out. Just a little metal bracket, and that's what helps hold that in there, squeezes it in there. Okay, it kind of just binds it. Pulled it out. This is how I found out what my ohmic value, how much resistance I should have at full I'm sorry, at full and empty. Anyway, carefully did a little wiggle, 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 and boop, just popped out. As I was pulling it out, I started watching a meter. And it changed. So I said, huh. Took and cleaned everything up a little bit better. Cleaned out the ring groove. Cleaned out this groove that interfaces here. And as you can see, I'm just partially sliding it back and putting it back in. I'm not even here, I'll even snap it down now. It snaps with two hands. And I have 243. And you can watch, maybe, here. It works. Don't ask me what exactly what it was. Maybe not sitting, touching something in here. Don't know. But uh, I'm gonna put some dielectric grease both sides of my gasket here and where the plug interfaces with this guy. I'm gonna fill it up nice and neat, help keep water and moisture out, keep a good connection. Or not connection, but keep it clean. Um, these are my two wires. I'm going to put them back together and when I go to do my heat shrink, yes, I'm going to use a heat gun, not a lighter next to the gas tank. And I have a fan blowing around some of those fumes so my safety people don't go crazy. You inbred redneck, what are you doing? I'm sure I'm going to get some comments, but I hope there's some good ones. Uh, I hope this helps somebody out. I have some more, like with this Mercury Optimax, has the same setup like this inside the oil reservoir. And they were telling you you had to buy a $350, $400 tank, even one of the foreign made ones. Well, it was broken, so I took it apart, found out a little washer came off the bottom of the float and wouldn't allow it to get its correct reading. I put it back on with some adhesive, still works, it's been two years. I'm trying, I have the videos on my phone. I'll try and put it together and put it out there for y'all. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you.